Jim's traditional case. Um, so if you're watching this, you must be interested in them. Um, they don't make them new anymore, so they're all just available on the secondary market, used market. Uh, but I've got one, and I'll talk about it a little bit. If you've never seen one up close, uh, you're wondering if it's worth the money, if you want to buy one, if you've run across one uh, used somewhere, uh, we'll talk about it. As you can see, I have a cover over this one. Uh, the cover did not come from Collings. Uh, once I got the case, <laughs> I liked the case so much. Uh, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to get scraped up or nicked up. Um, I don't play out. I go to church. Uh, play at church. I've got several guitars, and you know, often we'll take a different one every week. Um, it mostly stays in the closet, but there's a lot of cases going in or out. I was mostly just worried about just getting nicked and scraped from the other cases as I get it in and out of the closet, my storage area. So I got online. And there's a company in Thailand, and they make uh, Coltonish style cases, sort of, uh, you know, smooth, some sort of a fiberglass, carbon fiber looking case. Uh, it's called Vices Nut, and they make covers for their cases. And I was looking at the dimensions on one of their cases, and thought it was really close to this. Uh, and so it's been, I guess, a couple of years ago. Uh, and it was like 85 or $90, I think, at the time. That probably went up. Uh, it does fit. However, the handle uh, location is different on the Collings than it would be on the Bison. So they make it for a handle. Um, their handle would be right here on the Collings. It's right here. Um, and so I just cut a little slit in it and stuck the handle out there. Um, like I said, it, if you got carried and used a lot, it might tear, maybe. I don't know. There is a zipper that goes across, and so you could always just, and the zipper has two pulls, so you could always just zipper it up uh, until you get to the handle, and that would be fine. But um, I'll get it opened up, and I'll show you what it is. So if you've watched the video online, there is a video um, the Collins Guitars has put out about how these cases came to be sort of a pet project of Bill Collings. Uh, they were made all in-house. I'm assuming that the hardware was sourced from somewhere, but otherwise, the cases were formed. Everything was made in-house at Collings Guitars in Austin, Texas. And, uh, you know, they made them for a few years, quit. You know, Bill Collings has since passed away. I don't think they'll probably ever be made again, at least not try. Somebody might buy the equipment and make the cases again under a different name, but as far as these cases, you know, I think they're probably, they're the, they're the last of the, uh, of the of the real deal as far as these go. So they're basically uh, like a vintage. I mean, there is, I think if you watch that video, there is as nice of a case today that they can make in the like pre-war Holy Grail guitar, Martin guitar time. Uh, if you went back there and bought the absolute nicest case in existence, this is it, or maybe even nicer. So, uh, it's little, it's small, it's dainty. And there it is. You know, there's not much, there is an accessory pocket. Uh, the lid has a cradle for the neck, but there's not a whole lot of storage room in this case if you're used to keeping a lot of stuff in your guitar case. Uh, but that's not what this is about. This is just about being a classy home for your guitar. Um, and, um, I don't have a Collings guitar here to put in it, uh, but I do have two Santa Cruz's and I'll show you those and how they fit. Uh, both of them fit fine. Uh, I don't have a Martin D here at the house to put in it to show you. Uh, but let me get the, let me get the cruises in here and I'll show you what we got. This is a 1998 Santa Cruz vintage artist. Uh, mahogany herringbone guitar. This guitar measures at the uh, at the end pin, the body depth is four and a half inches. And it fits in there. There's a little bit of top to head to toe movement. Just a little bit of side to side. And the headstock just does fit. Uh, this is the guitar that I keep in this case if I ever keep one in it and take it anywhere, which is not very often. But this is the one I put in it just because I think it looks the best in it. Um, but this is the Vintage Artist, 1998. Uh, let me show you the other one. 
And this guitar is a 2020 Santa Cruz Tony Rice Standard model. Uh, this guitar is almost uh, a quarter inch deeper body than the Vintage Artist I've got. And the Vintage Artist, it's about that much smaller than a D28. If any, the D28s I've had since I've had that other guitar and I've, I've owned it a long time, it's just a little bit thinner body. However, this one seems to be more normal. Um, but it's even just a little less of the side to side play that the vintage artist had. Corners don't rub. And even though it's a little thicker, it shuts with no problem at all whatsoever. We'll take a look at the hardware. See the grain in it. And it's just, uh, it's a great case. It's a dainty, lightweight case. Uh, just a minute, I'll put it uh, side by side on the ground with the Emeritus case that the Tony Rice uh, standard came in. You know, this case, it, it, it almost feels like uh, you've got a three quarter size guitar in it compared to the size and the weight of the Emeritus case. So here's the Colin case sitting next to the Emeritus case that the uh, 2020 Santa Cruz came in. And so it's, it's just, uh, it's just daintier all the way around, much lighter, doesn't have as much storage room in it, but it is a lot smaller, lighter case. Let's see, that's why I don't want things. Little marks. I don't want little marks on my case. It has one nick on it in the Tolex. It was there when I bought it. It's right here. I've not tried. It needs to be glued down. And I've not done that yet. Which is why I bought the cover for it. It's such a nice little case. I, I bought it mostly as a collectible. Uh, you know, I... I, I bought it used. I think I paid eight or eight hundred and fifty for it. But now people are asking over a thousand dollars for them. It is a lot of money for a case. However, I, you know, instruments are my mostly. They're they are they are my hobby. Um, and you can see my truck. You know, I mean, I, I try to keep it nice, but you know, you know, Poppy ain't ain't dropping ain't going to the bank to see two thousand dollars for a crew cab truck. Work provides me a truck, bless their hearts. I appreciate it. But for I spend my money on, you know, I'm not doing it. So I don't have a bass boat. I don't have golf clubs. I don't have a side-by-side. -side. Uh, you know, the instruments are my hobby. So I bought that because I like it and hopefully just, you know, as a collectible to put it back. And so because of that, I've got the cover for it. Keep it on there. And, uh, you know, if you've got... If you've got a nice guitar and you want a nice vintage style case for it, or if you own a vintage Martin uh, and you want a vintage style case for it, you know, maybe you, you've got an original case, you know, everybody's different. So some people, you know, they don't take their old Martins out. Some people do. Let's say you've got a vintage Martin uh, and you've got a decent original case or even a nice original case with it. But maybe, you know, you know, you don't want to take that case out, afraid of beating up and nicking and scratching that old case, but yet you want a nice case, something like that would work. Or if you've got a new guitar uh, and you just want a really nice case for it, you know, it's whatever makes the most sense in your mind. Um, you know, I, I could have a $150 case and a bass boat sit here that's worth however many thousands of dollars and nobody would think anything about it. But you tell people you paid $850 for a guitar case. They're like, well, I hope there was three guitars inside it. You know, people that don't know much about the instruments. So it just is what it is. But if you've been looking at them, seeing them online pop up for sale every so often, think, what's the big deal? Why are they worth so much? 
it's just a really nice little case. And I say little just because it feels little compared to my other cases. And it's just nice. You just get a little bit of that, ooh, you know, a little bit of, ooh, 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 look at there. Wow, you know, that's nice. That's what you get when you look in it. So that's the Collings traditional case. Thanks for watching. If you don't care, please hit the like and subscribe button. It's free. Helps a fella out. Have a great day.